guys, how are you doing? This is Manga Section. I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece Manga Chapter 982. Now, this chapter is very full, and what I mean by that is that how it's not focused on one thing. We basically get to see what everyone is doing. Yeah, in fact, I think it is everyone that we get to, uh, well, all the main characters for sure, but we get to see like a lot, what a lot of what people are doing right now. Uh, the first bit of the chapter, and I think it, is, it took up the majority of the chapter as well, was basically just Kanjiro bringing Momomosuke to Kaido and uh, Orochi. And this bit part of the chapter is basically Orochi and Kaido finding out, yo, Straw Hat Alliance is here, we need to do something about that. Before Kanjiro hopped in there, Orochi was, and this, I'm raising why I mentioned this because I found it very funny. Is that how Orochi is so happy, he's all celebrating, uh, ha, 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 ha. but as soon as he finds out that the samurai are still alive, he gets shook. He gets shook, and now you can see this from the panel where uh, whoever was pouring him a drink was pouring him a drink, and he's like, <laughs> I found it really, really, really funny, um, that's why I'm mentioning it, and basically this bit of the chapter ends off with how um, he's saying uh, he's going to kill Momonosuke, and now uh, the only reason why he's doing this, well, obviously he has a duty to do this as a villain, but I reckon at the end of the day, the only reason why he's prioritising this now, trying to set this up, public execution, is because he's... And he needs something to calm his nerves, and this essentially probably will do that for him. So we see Law's Division, I'm going to call them Law's, <laughs> Law's Division for now, and basically this bit of the chapter is um, Neko talking to, uh, what's his name? In a dog storm, that's what I'm going to call him, basically letting them know that they're, they're, they're in the vicinity. They're ready to fight, they're good to go. And now there's a bit where he has a note. Who's the note for? The whole thing with him having the note, I don't get that. So if you could explain that to me, I'd be grateful. Thank you very much. Then we flip over to, um, what's his name? I think his real name's Denjiro. Kiyoshi, um, Kiyo, Kiyo, Kiyo Shiro is his fake name. So he has a bit in the chapter where he's basically run into a member of the Flying Six. Obviously, that member of the Flying Six, well, I don't know, what's his name? Sasaki. Sasaki doesn't know about uh, Kiyo Shiro, you know, being a double agent. So he doesn't know about that. Fair play, fair play. So fair play. So the fact that he gets caught lacking. Is understandable but at the same time he gets caught lacking and not only does he get caught lacking he gets chained up now i don't think it's been confirmed if it's a devil i mean if it's a devil fruit ability but let's assume he's a devil fruit ability user and uh oh, it's most likely he is a fruit ability, um, user and he's got chained up so let's say these that these chains they've been chained up in are um Sea stone, sea stone, these have got sea stone in them. The fact that I just can't buy the fact that yes, he got caught lacking, but he got chained up as well. Like, I could understand if Kyoshi decided to attack him quickly because you know he wasn't going to be expecting it, and then the fight blew out from there. I would have, have preferred that more, but the fact that he got chained up. It's just, for me personally, at this moment in time, has, like, lessened the hype of the Flying Six. And now the Flying Six have a bit of hype behind them because they are confident about taking on uh, the Division Commanders, Jack, Queen and Queen, if they get um, Yamamoto in time. So the fact that one could get caught lacking so easily and chain up so easily it's kind of a problem for me like i said for right now it's diminished the hype of the flying sick but at the same time you could say something like scratch being able to attack a poo i mean <laughs> scratch being able to attack Luffy and so so easily could diminish the hype of them so uh, each of their own and that if you get what i'm trying to say here so basically 
the big mom bit of the chapter where we have Chopper and Usopp playing bait to Big Mom. They have taken the tank, they have headed one way, so Big Mom is not in the way of Kinemon and the rest of the people that he's with. Fair enough. I can understand it. I can understand Usopp, especially Usopp, and Chopper playing bait. But who and they took the tank as well. Fair enough, whatever. Is it realistic? That this tank is pacing out Big Mom. Not buying it, but I'll let it slide. So there's another bit of the chapter as well, and I'm not quite sure where they're headed. I don't think they're with Kinemon and company, but we have Nami and Shinobu bump into Big Mom's son. I forget the name of the son. But basically, the son is mad. He wants the Nimbus back. <laughs> he wants the Nimbus back. And I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know if we're going to get a fight between Nami and the son. I don't know. I don't know. But I personally am not a fan of Nami having Big Mom's Cloud. So if this is the start of her losing it, I know that might be an unpopular opinion, but... <laughs> I'm not a fan of Nami having that cloud. Obviously, we have Kinemon's division go the other way when Big Mom came to think. So, the last thing that I want to talk about is the end of the chapter where we have Page One, who's previously had a fight with Sanji, and Sanji had no trouble with Page One, bump into Luffy. So, we have UT and Page One bump into Luffy. Obviously, just most likely, it is possible that there will be a fight to break out there. And now, it is two on one. Well, it could be two on one, which I guess is helpful in the fact of how I just said that how the hype of this Flying Six was kind of diminished for me. So, I kind of seen them as weak now. So maybe a two and one fight would be better than basically Luffy should be above these two, at least that's where I'm kind of seeing things right now. So would it kind of be a waste for Luffy to take them out now easily where they could have so much a more interesting fight if they're left to later? That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting here now. Is this fight, if they are going to fight, a good idea right now? That's the kind, That's my reasoning about this end bit of the chapter. I'm going to give this chapter a three star um, rating and call it a review. Reason why is because I guess at this time I would have preferred a more focus point on the chapter, for example, we stayed with Luffy for the whole chapter, or we stayed with Usopp and Chopper for the whole chapter, or we stayed with Law for the whole chapter. Something like that. I would, I think I would have preferred that at this present moment in time, rather than seeing what everybody's doing. A bit confusing. Anyway, I've done some more One Piece videos, there's more One Piece videos out there, that will be showing in the end card, so check those out, you might like them, check, check, check it out, check those out as well, the one that I'm going to recommend to you, you guys, is my newest one, What If Luffy, Ace and Sabo were in the same crew, so check those out, if you've got the time to, like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions, if you haven't already, please guys, to my YouTube channel, but most importantly, take care, have a nice day.